Hello, all you fan freaking tastic people! It's your boy, Emmy Newsette. And we're coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And in the last, at the end of the other one, we just received a cool looking outfit and armor and whatnot. So I want to, I, it's, it equipped us a sword, the Minion Cross, the Minion Bonds as well. I think that I noticed, and I wanted to take a look and start off by looking what these are. Invictus, one of a set of seven swords said to have been forged in the flames of Mount Justinus. Invictus have been passed down through generations for use by the Archduke's family and his closest shields. Archduke Elwyn present, presented Invictus to Rodney Murdoch on the day he was promoted to Lord Commander of the Ducal Army. Media Cross, Media is sometimes called the Crustral. As legend has it that the bright red star serves as the moon's attendant, carrying her gear and equipping her armor in times of battle. This belt was part of a set owned by Archduke Elwin and kept in Eastpool for when he and his family would summer there. And we have the Median Bonds. It is a long-standing Rosarian tradition for the Archduke to bestow a gift to scions of the Ducal line upon their coming of age. These bracers died in the red of the star Media, where that Elwin's father chose for him, and formed part of a set of clothes kept in Eastpool for when he and his family would summer there. So, alright, I want to see if, is it better than the other one that I have? <clears throat> oh, it is! Yeah, it's 5 attack and 5 stagger more than the guy blade that I had, so we're gonna keep it. Plus, also, look at it. Look at it on my back right there. That's... Oh, mm, ah. And the Median Cross is what three defense more? Mm, still better, I guess. Oop, oop, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. What about this one, Median Bonds? So oh, it's four defense more. Okay, so we're gonna be keeping these for now. I don't think I received any new accessories. Nah, we did not. <clears throat> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got the crew here. Let's go. Let's um, you know what? Let's look around. Maybe there's uh, some good old items and some good stuff here. In no spot at all. Oh, yeah. That's it. Say, look at that. Hmm. Candy. Oh, jump down. Um. I'm still enjoying the music, yes. I don't need to click this, yeah. I think it told I think it said that um Oh yeah, I can't even do anything with it. Yeah, as long as you go close it unlocks it and stuff, right? So I don't see items, right? Wonder if Martha could spare us a few bushels. Nope! She busy. She needs them bushels. And stuff. No, okay. Well. Hello, hello. How you doing? Man, do they only have one chest in here? Oh, can I not go that way? Oh, I can't even go. Oh, this is a dead end. What is life? Oh. Oh, hey. I've been rewarded. What? But it's not as old got anywhere else to go. Oh, well, that would suck if you can't make it through the winter there. No, I'm pressed. Where I'm are you off to then? Or hasn't your master? <coughs> Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Nope. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. Which one? Relic of the Fallen, it is. Must have stood there a thousand years. 
And in all that time, oh, that one? no one's ever been in sight. Really? Mysterious, eh? How did, how, how did you know in, in a thousand years, nobody went inside? Were you there a few centuries ago to check? Mm, no, I don't think so. If you're buying, I'm selling. Okie dokie. But what I want to do is... Yeah, it would kind of be funny, right? We would just received this cool outfit, and then he would be selling better gear immediately. That would be funny. Mm, I don't think I want that yet. Uh, nope. Alright, let's stock up on potions. There you are. Because we all know I need go. potions. <clears throat> and sell... You know what? I'm going to keep these gear, even though they're worse, because... I might be able to upgrade them later, and then they, they do become better than what I have now. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them. I think, though, I have some... Yeah, there you go. I have some items that I can sell from oh, Gale. Oh, you won't say no. Got anything else for me? Yes, I got... Oh, well, you won't say no. Uh, and I think that's it, right? Yep. See you then. All right, let her, good old merchant. Gonna go to Phoenix Gate. Mm, yeah. Y you. Those are Elwins. No. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. Depends. You're mistaken. Who's asking? Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. Ah! The self-same garments Hannah was keeping Gil. for you, if Gil. I'm not mistaken, she always Run. swore that she the would not part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers? We got bearers of our own? What? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to East Pool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded... Yeah, the Empires are assholes. We knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here <clears throat> ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right. Lord Rosfield, Oof. bequeathed you by your late father. I don't think Clive wants and them. they'd be better off serving you than mm. hiding here. Clive Indeed, would probably want to free them. Many of them used to serve your right. house and still consider the Rosfields their master. I'll be wrong. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives 
and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Quest accepted! Back in the day! You know, back in the day, remember that time? Mm -hmm, yeah, back when? Mm. Fine a man as my father. Mm -hmm. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Mm. Where is he? In the well? Hello! 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 He's not there. He's not in the well. He's not here. I know! I checked, I said! He's not in the I well! Leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Hello there! How you, how you doing? Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All oh, the beatings, oh, the evictions, that must hurt. the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. <laughs> she said fire, oh, specifically. Me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it sucks that he died uh, in burning red hot fire. <laughs> Poor Clive. Good day, Milady. <coughs> Good day to you, sir. What can I do for you? I don't know. I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah. Uh, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. A chef. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool What's a fantasy? way to the Archduke. What's a fantasy meal, Living though, right? Living in a dream Specifically. is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Vicerine stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Good day to you, good sir. Hey, hold on a mo. A Young what? Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. Hmm. We have learned a new Sorry, dialect. Now oh, wait a mo. Making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Maybe Clive would want her to stay as master or mistress. Who knows? Maybe he's into that. Maybe Clive likes to be dominated by a dominant. Where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. Who He's did not he? in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. 
You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. We're in we're in intelligence gathering. Big brain. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Early signs of dementia. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. <clears throat> I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Wait, wait where is he? Oh, that way. Well, my bad, my bad. My bad! Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? I guess I was right. I had to apologize. We went there here too early. I was like, I remember I was like, hey, maybe I don't need to come here. Maybe, maybe coming here is a mistake or something like that because we might have like a quest or actually something that makes us come over here. And look at that. Hashtag called it. Now, do we have to fight another one? Since we already defeated the first one. There's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Yeah, I'm from Bookdash. Lead them to the old man. Bookdash. Chap. Agreed. Oh, new enemies! I wonder if we did good by um, killing the other one first, though. So maybe we would have needed to fight him too, right? Might never know. Oh, he caught the Phoenix! Oh, 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 oh. Over. Ha! Dude's just flying! <laughs> Overkill! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very good, very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Are you all right, my friend? Come on, let's go home. Your Grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day.
That was good on you, Clive. Nice approach. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. Mm. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Rough. That's rough. Is it really that bad? Mm, it sounds so like it. bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Quest complete! Back in the day. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Mm hmm. All right, make for Phoenix Gate. <clears throat> The Dim? The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. All right. The light is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. <laughs> no plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Well, I think this is a good spot. To end this one, this one felt a little bit more wholesome, right? I don't know. We looked for the, you know, we saw East Pool. We helped the little little dude, little old dude, and uh, yeah, that was very nice. Very nice to see what happened to the bearers after the Empire took over Rosario, right? So yeah, very nice, very nice, nice episode. So I'll see you all in the next one then. Later's. Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.